Alrighty. As attendees may be coming into the session, we just wanted to give thanks to all of you for attending and joining us tonight during your busy schedules and your busy lives. Um, again, this is the ANACAC Virtual College Exploration event for Goshen College. I'm going to turn it over very soon to our fantastic panelists and facilitators, um, but wanted to make sure you all knew some things going into all of this. So as you can see on this screen that I'll leave up here for a little while, um, if you have any questions that you would like to ask our amazing admissions professionals from Goshen College, feel free to use that Q&A button that you'll either see at the top or the bottom of your screen through the Zoom functionality. The chat is disabled, so that's the only way that they're going to be able to see and answer your questions, so please do that for us. And if you haven't already, sign up for more sessions, as you can see there on the screen at inacac.org backslash virtual dash college dash exploration. The recording of this and all of our other sessions as well that you may have not been able to attend will be on that website for you. And just so you know, this is the webinar functionality. So your camera and your microphones are off as attendees. You're muted and we cannot see you. So again, go back to that Q&A function and use that for any questions that you may have for us tonight. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to our colleagues at Goshen College to take a hold of the next 45 minutes for you all. And I will see you at the end of the session. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so my name's Thomas. I'm one of the admissions counselors at Goshen College. Uh, and along with my colleague Karina, we'll be walking you through some general information about Goshen College. Um, I was a 2015 graduate of Goshen College. I was a history major uh, with a political studies and Spanish minor. Um, I also played basketball and soccer while I was at Goshen. So that's just a little bit about me. Awesome. Hi, everyone. My name is Karina. I'm another admissions counselor here at Goshen College. I also graduated from GC in 2018 with a degree in social work and public relations. I'm actually um, originally from the Goshen area myself, so I did not go too far from my college experience, and I definitely loved um, being a part of campus community and just involved in a ton of different stuff. So we're super excited to just share a little bit more information about Goshen College with you tonight. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen uh, through a slideshow here. It has some good information that we'll be going through uh, throughout our time here today. So, all right. So for tonight, we're going to like just give you a general admission session um, and for you to just learn a little bit more about Goshen College, share some alumni stories, data and values at Goshen College. So at Goshen College, we, we educate the head and the heart and throughout the admission session, you'll be able to see that. You'll begin to eventually see that this is a, a place and community where everything connects. The first connection is within our values. So this is where we connect our passion to our purpose. We have five core values, as you can see on your screen, um, that are reflected throughout all campus um, life and academic life. Our first one is servant leadership, and that is the ability to empower um, ourselves and empower others as well. We have passionate learning, that is a mastery of a major field of study, preparing students for lifelong learning. We have Christ-centered, where we nurture an act of faith that informs all life's choices. And we have compassionate peacemaking, personal integrity that fosters the ability to resolve conflict and promote social justice. And our last one is global citizenship. So intercultural openness with the ability to function um, effectively with people with other worldviews. So this is our first alumni that we'd like to introduce you to. His name is AJ. He graduated in 2017 um, and he wanted to improve society's food waste problem. So um, after to try, trying to find like a solution to dealing with food waste, he began exploring different 
different ways and warm composting was one of the things that he found that it would be helpful and so he did that and then he eventually turned it into uh, a business for a way for people to live more sustainable lives so here is a picture of him at our local goshen farmers market where um, customers come they um, get a bucket they fill it up with food scrap um, and then once it's full they come back to the farmers market they give it to him and they get a new bucket and he's the one who um, takes um, charge of doing all the, <laughs> the composting and dirty work for so it's a really great way, um, great system to be able to live sustainable. And this is just one example where AJ is connecting his passion of improving our society's food waste problem um, with a purpose. Uh, you'll also see having to do with our outcomes and how we connect our research to an impact in the real world. So another one of our alumni is Olivia. She's a 2016 graduate of Goshen College. Uh, she was a sign language interpreting major with a psychology minor. Uh, she's currently working at Disney World doing interpreting for different musicals uh, like Frozen and Beauty and the Beast, which I don't know about you, but that sounds like a pretty cool gig to me to be working at Disney World like that. Uh, she's also hoping to, in the future, become a child psychologist specifically for the deaf community. So you can see how she's connecting the research and the work that she's done uh, with a real impact for these kids uh, and for everybody as they're uh, working their way through the world. Uh, we are a very strong academic institution. Uh, we were ranked the number one bachelor's college in Indiana. Uh, there are a lot of things that go into that. Uh, specifically though, they're talking about bachelor's degrees. So as uh, an institution, Goshen primarily gives out bachelor's degrees. Uh, we have a handful of graduate programs, but most of what we do is undergraduate work. And because of that, we have a really, really good uh, or a really strong emphasis on hands-on learning for our undergraduate program. So you're really well prepared for whatever you want to do in the world. We also have a large number of students that go on to get doctorates. So even though we primarily give out bachelor's degrees, a lot of our grads end up being doctors at some point or have a master's degree uh, because we prepare you so well for a graduate program. So whether that's something in the medical field, whether it's something in research, whether it's something in the humanities where you go on to get a doctorate in something like uh, history or English, or whether you decide to go to law school, we'll pre prepare you great for any graduate program that you wanna pursue. Um, and then of course, for all of you that are not going to grad school, you're probably going to try and get a job after you graduate. We're also excellent at preparing you for that. Uh, there's a fantastic event that happens at Goshen every spring uh, that's called Super Tuesday, where we have local community members come in and you can uh, fill out, well, first you design a resume, you send that to this person that's going to give you a mock interview, and then you go through the whole process of coming in, doing the mock interview, and they go through all of that with you, and then that community member who's a business leader uh, will give you feedback on what you did well, what you could do better, uh, maybe some ways that you could touch up your resume to look a little sharper, to really help you stand out uh, when you're going to find a career. And there are lots of different examples of that at Goshen College. That's just uh, one way that we help prepare you for life after you graduate when you're uh, becoming a job seeking individual. All right, another way that we connect at Goshen College um, is in our academics where we connect the logic to our creativity. So here um, are a picture of two alumni. Um, the first one is Michael. He's one of the youngest students to have graduated um, from Goshen College at the age of 17, so pretty crazy. So now he works at Big Labs, which is basically a Silicon Valley startup. Um, he also works at um, Ever Everance as well. Um, he's also pursuing his master's degree in robotics. Um, and one of, another project that he's helping out is helping the Goshen community um, create a virtual walking tour of points of interest downtown um, Goshen. 
question. So very awesome and relevant to um, just what's going on right now. And to his right um, is Olivia. And so she um, also graduated from Goshen College same year. And now she's the multimedia manager for Consumer Inc., um, which is a um, organization here in Elkhart. So she helps support their marketing initiatives with um, visual and design elements, as well as like monitor and push their online marketing campaigns. Um, when she was a student, she actually worked on um, our student-run newspaper, The Record, and so she was sharing with me that working um, in The Record um, as a student really prepared her and equipped her um, for the position and manager um, that she is now, and so that definitely helped her um, get those skill sets and those confidence that she needed um, to take on that position. She felt very prepared. Um, so they are both using their logic um, that was gained through our excellent academics and are creating um, creative things out there in the world. And here we have a picture of Riley Bills. Um, she graduated in 2018. Um, she's also working with um, Professor Kyle on a film project. Um, Riley is now the executive director of the Bridge Anti-Discrimination Network, which is a nonprofit organization here in Goshen that help educate, create, and assist socially disadvantaged communities by creating a network of resources. So that's what she's doing. Um, and we do have a new um, communication wing um, at Goshen College, which houses our nationally award-winning radio, TV station, newspaper, um, and film production company on um, there. So you do not um, have to be majoring or minoring in any of those um, areas in order to um, participate in it. So you have those opportunities at Goshen College. And here we have Ryan. He is a professor of biological and environmental science. He is advising a student. Um, and so this is um, the kind of individualized attention, support, and professional relationship um, with professors that you will be receiving during your time here. So they take their all they take their open office hours very seriously and are always willing to talk to you and answer any questions, concerns you may have um, regarding life or academics and research that you need. They're always willing to have those conversations with you. Um, in this photo, we have a picture of Josh Bustos. He's in the picture. He's working with the Maple Scholars Algae Town project. Really awesome. The goal of this project is to develop a method of growing and harvesting algae, which can be used for various sustainability um, and commercial purposes. We also have um, algae that's growing down in the blooms in Florida, um, which are ways to just explore different ways of blossoming. Um, so that's another great way for, for students to do that. And Maple Scholars specifically is a program um, that students are Able to participate in during the summer where students sign up to work on a research project with a professor. Um, you don't necessarily have to be um, in the sciences field um, to participate in Maple Scholars. We've had various students in different disciplines, um, history, peace, justice, and conflict studies, communication, um, have all participated in doing this type of research. So um, Algae Town is one of the Maple um, Scholars research projects that you could do. So at Goshen College, we actually have three different campuses. So one of them is in our Florida Keys. Um, so we have JN Roth Marine Biology Station that has its own private dock out in the ocean. Um, it houses about 24 um, people there. Um, in this picture, um, we have a picture of Paul Jesher. He's with a professor during Matrim. Um, and May term is basically a three week term um, at the end of spring semester where you take one course. And so um, we also have a full semester class every fall semester for um, marine biology um, majors as well. And some students decide to travel abroad during the month of May as well. And our third campus is Mary Lee. So Mary Lee is our environmental learning center um, at Goshen College, which is over a thousand acres of land, prairie, um, wildlands, um, you name it. So there's, it's about a 40, 40 minute drive from, from campus. And you actually have the opportunity to live in the ledge certified housing, which is energy efficient um, housing. So basically the whole field um, is your laboratory. You're always out there um, doing different research and just um, getting your hands dirty. Um, and you don't have to be um, a biology or environmental science major to experience Mary Lee. We actually have um, elementary education majors um, who lead field trips down there since they have different programs for the school. 
And this is um, Heather. So Heather's actually holding a turkey at Mary Lee. It's very common to have different animals on, on, on the farm, which they have those hands-on opportunities to do. And so at Mary Lee, students literally learn to live off of the land, the planting, um, the harvesting, surviving, and cooking um, very sustainable lives. And another thing about Heather is that she also had the opportunity to create two sister sculptures this summer. One of them is housed on our Goshen College campus, and the other one is at Mary Lee. So that gives you um, an idea of the many students that are studying and still participating in different things that they enjoy doing. And so technically our campus is global where we are connecting with different cultures and communities. Um, in this picture you see um, alumni Caleb and Valentin of 18 with Director of International Studies Jen Shetler um, in Senegal for their study service term. So at Goshen College students have the opportunity um, to travel abroad. You know you receive a global education um, that really prepares you with language and communication skills for functioning in a globalized workplace like wherever your career takes you you'll develop um, deep connections with new communities, colleagues, and places you'll never forget. And so in our program, students um, travel to one of our five developing countries for an entire semester. You're really learning the, the language, the arts, the history, the politics, and then um, you're doing service. You're actually out in the community doing some sort of service work, internship, um, in an uh, intercultural context, which is so wonderful. So something else about Goshen College and probably the thing that got me to Goshen College as a student uh, was the community and how excellent Goshen is at connecting ourselves to each other. So you can see a little bit about our stats, uh, about our students there. Um, a little over half of our students are from Indiana. Uh, about a third of our students participate in intercollegiate athletics and then a quarter of our students in our, are involved in our music ensembles. Uh, and there's a lot of research out there showing that the best indicator for students on how successful they are after college is how involved they are in college. So at Goshen, we really focus on making sure that you have the opportunity to be involved in numerous things. So you see like a third of students are involved in sports and a quarter in music, but there's some overlap there. So we've got students doing both. We have students doing all sorts of different things on campus, everything from clubs, to our intercollegiate athletic teams, to jobs on campus, uh, to being TAs and coming up with their own research projects. There's just, there's a lot going on uh, both academically and socially at Goshen. Uh, one of the probably coolest events at Goshen College is an international student coffee house that we have every spring. Uh, so there are two parts to this coffee house. The first part, which I'm a big fan of, is the international dinner where students make food from their respective countries. I don't know about you all, but I love to eat. So I can get really good like homemade food that's from like all around the world. So it's really cool. And then the second part of the event is also excellent, which is uh, students put on different cultural presentations from their respective countries in kind of a talent show uh, kind of setting. And possibly one of the just most amazing things about this event is that it's live streamed. So the families of these students, these international students, can watch them perform at Goshen College in the U.S. from their respective countries. So it's a really cool way of connecting us to those families all across the country and across the world. Uh, of course, we do have, you know, dorms on campus. We do have residence halls on campus. Uh, we have three different residence halls. Uh, each one, or each floor, I should say, in those residence halls would have an RA, a resident assistant, that will typically be a sophomore student. Uh, and their primary job is to help build community on those floors and between different floors. So you might have an event where you have a movie night with your floor and like the floor above you, and the RAs would help organize that. Or maybe you would have a kickball game that's a competition between the floors. Uh, or in the spring, there's a volleyball tournament where each floor gets a team together and they all compete against each other. And that's a thing that we do in May term. So there's a lot of different stuff that happens that's just 
you get to know a lot of people and it's a lot of fun and there's a lot going on um, constantly. And that's just the organized stuff. I'm not even getting into all the things that you just do with your friends, like go to Steak and Shake at three in the morning, right? Um, so yeah, that was the thing that got me to Goshen was just how fun socially it is, how nice everyone is and how it feels like you can fit in being who you are. Uh, we have a large number of faith traditions represented on campus at Goshen. Uh, Goshen College is a Christian school. We're based out of the Anabaptist Mennonite tradition. Um, but if you're not Mennonite and you don't know a ton about Mennonites, that's fine. You'll still fit in just great. <laughs> uh, only about 30% of our students are Mennonite at Goshen College. So if you're not Mennonite, you would still be in the majority there. Uh, we believe that having those different faith tr traditions is really important because sometimes the best way to figure out what you believe is to talk with someone who believes something a little bit different than you. And that can help you understand where you are in your faith journey. So wherever you are in that, uh, we will welcome you to Goshen College, whether that's being Mennonite, whether that's being a different Christian faith, whether that's being a different world uh, religion, or whether that's no tradition and no religion at all we will welcome you to Goshen College and we will wanna talk with you and ask you about where you are. And it's just those conversations are so interesting to have on Goshen's campus. Uh, I mentioned that I played sports at Goshen College. Uh, you can see the number of NAIA scholar athletes that we've had at Goshen. Uh, that's because we do both athletics and academics very well and we take both very seriously. Uh, you can see we were ranked one of the top NAIA colleges for student athletes. That has to do with how well our athletic teams did, but also how well our student athletes were doing in the classroom. Um, and so we really believe that success is important on and off the field, uh, both at the same time. Uh, if you're wondering, we do offer scholarship athletics at Goshen. Um, being NAIA, we can offer scholarships. And then our music ensembles. So if you've never been to a concert at Goshen College, I would heavily encourage it because we have an amazing music hall. You can see a little bit there of Souter Concert Hall. Uh, and we have some really great performers that come in, both students and performing groups from all around the country and all around the world that come in. We had the Vienna Boys Choir uh, just a couple of years ago that came in and performed. We've had Bobby McFerrin perform uh, and lead a uh, seminar on Stomp at Goshen. So that was really cool. Uh, you can see here, we always have the Festival of Carols around Christmas time, uh, where the full choir and the full orchestra perform, which is just really magnificent. Um, and we also offer music scholarships. So any of you out there that are interested in being a music performer, that's awesome. We would love to have you come join us at Goshen. Uh, we have scholarships, of course, for music majors and minors, but we also offer an ensemble grant if you just wanna perform in the groups, but you don't necessarily want to major or minor in music, we still have scholarships available for you as well. Uh, I remember, so I'm a big fan of jazz myself, and I remember going to an event here in Goshen, the town, and the Lavender Jazz Band was playing. And I remember sitting there and the swing dance club from Goshen College had come over and they were swinging to the jazz band playing. So again, connecting these different things, having a lot of fun. I was not singing, I was also not performing, uh, not like, not my, not my kind of thing, but it was really fun to listen to, really fun to watch. Um, and you get all sorts of opportunities like that at Goshen College. So if you are like, you know what? The, these two counselors, they, they, uh, they got me a little bit. Like I'm intrigued. I wanna know like what's next, what to do. Well you can go on our website and apply to Goshen College. It's pretty easy, it only takes about 15 minutes. Uh, we are on the Common App, so any of you applying through the Common App, we will take that as well. Uh, we have gone test optional this year. Uh, because of COVID, we understand that it's difficult for some people to take the SAT or ACT. Uh, so if you haven't had that opportunity, that's okay. You can still apply to Goshen. Uh, you can see our application deadline there. Um, let me clear up the language a little bit. So the priority application deadline, that's for when you need to apply to Goshen College. And then once you apply, there are some other scholarships that you can apply for. 
the deadline for those is January 1st. Uh, if you have any more questions about scholarships or anything like that, you can feel free to reach out to uh, any of the counselors at Goshen College. We all work closely together. Um, if we don't know the answer, we can point you in the right direction uh, to find it for sure. Um, we're a pretty, pretty tight-knit group at Goshen. We all know each other very well. We talk to each other about um, how our recruiting's going, how talking to students are going. Frankly, we all like doing the work that we do because we all think college is really important. And we all kind of envy you guys a little bit uh, that you guys get to go through this and go through college. Because I know Karina and I both, we've talked about this, how much fun we had in college um, and how we would love to go back and, and do it again. Um, so we, we look forward to working with you guys as you go through the process there. Yeah. Um, so I'm don't going forget to, to submit your FAFSA. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So, yeah. Stop sharing there so you guys can see us a little bit bigger. Yeah, so we'll see if there are any questions popping up. Okay, don't think Not so. Not seeing yet. any right now. Uh, Looks like you answered everybody's questions, which sounds like a great session to me. Love it. <laughs> Well, if anybody, any attendees have any questions, you have amazing people at Goshen College who are there to answer them for you. Sounds like a great place to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with just a few end of session housekeeping items. So while I share those, feel free to put any last minute questions into that question and answer box. All right, well, thank you all for joining us. We're happy to have you. Thank you for staying social distance, staying safe during these crazy times. As you exit this, um, there's a quick four question survey that will appear. We wanna make sure that we're serving you and your families the way that we can when it comes to college. Sign up for more sessions at that URL that I talked about at the top of the hour as well. And of course, this recording will be available on that website. So if you miss something, if you're like, oh, I forgot what these, what they talked about for experiential learning or what that date was, feel free to go back in and check out these videos to do so. All right, not seeing anything else. I think we can call this end of session. Thank you all and have a great evening.